Hey everybody, welcome back to The Matt Report. Got another video for you, and this time, the inspiration is coming from a Facebook group message that I read the other day, and a uh, lovely lady had posted a question asking how to sort of hide all of the theme you know, names and plugin names that she was using on client sites because she was actually afraid of the WordPress police, as she put it. And that really got me to thinking, you know, nobody really cares about the tools that you're using. The customer shouldn't care because the customer is purchasing the value of the service that you're providing. And your colleagues shouldn't care because it's none of their business. Um, if you want to build a website the way you want to build a website, build a website the way you want to, right? The concern that I have uh, are for the people who are just coming up, who are willing to learn, want to learn how to do things the right way, you know, have real questions about which plugin should I use? Is it okay to use this plugin or not? People who really care about this stuff, use whatever works for you, but understand this. When people look down at other people for using page builders, for instance, they're just saying that because it's a shortcut to development. It's a shortcut to wireframing a site. It's a shortcut to building a bigger solution. And I say, who cares? Who cares? These plugins are getting better. Uh, page builder plugins are getting faster. They're getting more optimized. There are more companies doing it, which is sort of driving this investment in innovation in page builders to make better products. Uh, that, that is to say that these teams behind these, these plugins, the ones who care, are doing it better than before. Technology is getting faster, getting more affordable, getting smarter. WordPress itself is getting better. So all of these plugins, they're all getting better themselves. So it's natural for people coming into this space to want to use these plugins because it just makes life easier. The way that is wrong or the way that has really burned a lot of people, colleagues and other professionals in this space and customers are the people who charge, I don't know, a thousand bucks, 3000 bucks and buy something off the shelf, slap it together and just leave the customer in the dust. I would rather you use 50 plugins in your website to build a simple five page website. So long as you are giving uh, care to understanding which components you're using, you're using, what plugins you're using, what themes, where you're getting these things from, so that in the event of an issue, you know who to turn to. I care that you're keeping these plugins up to date and you're making sure that they all work well together. If they do, so be it. I also want to make sure that you're putting them on good hosting, and by them I mean your customers, right? These are the points where people collectively say, Oh, you're doing things the wrong way because you're using plugins or you're not building it by scrap, from scratch or you're using uh, these page builder pl plugins that slow things down. Test everything, make sure it works for you and ultimately make sure it works for your customer. That's what really matters. The people who are doing it wrong are the ones who don't care about the customer and where their business is going. People who look at this stuff as a short-sighted cash grab to buy a $30 theme charge $3,000 and then have no regard to what that means for their customer, or where they're really going in their business. Sort of just putting these things together, cashing out on that sort of little investment that they made. There's nothing wrong with using a page builder or a collection of plugins that you need uh, to use to get the job done. So long as you're providing value for your customer, you're supporting them throughout the entire sort of lifespan of the development process and even beyond uh, through support contracts or sort of quarterly support, however you sort of negotiate that with your customer. But so long as it's all been communicated that here are the plugins that we use, here's the software that you use, this is the good reliable hosting that we have and here's the security blanket that we've put on top of it through firewalls and maybe security services, something like that. As long as you're taking a strong fundamental approach that really gives the customer value and adds longevity to your business because you're doing such a darn good job that these customers are going to continue to refer you. That's what really matters. Looking at it from this 
whole perspective of client development cycle and your long-term business is what really matters. It's not the plugins that you use uh, and letting other people say, you shouldn't take these shortcuts. Uh, at the end of the day, it's your business. You're the one providing value to the customer. So long as they're getting value, then everything is sort of aces up. I uh, am, implore you to continue to do it that way uh, and do what works best for your business. It's mattreport.com. Conductorplugin.com was just released. Speaking of tools and plugins, got a new version on conductorplugin.com. I would love for you to test it out. There's also a freely available GitHub version if you want to check out our new Conductor Core uh, plugin with the Query Builder add-on. Uh, which is a tremendously powerful tool now where you can write these WordPress queries without having to know the code. And then it actually spits out a short code that you can plop in uh, into any page, post, or widget, that kind of thing. It's really powerful. And don't let anybody else tell you differently. Maricor.com slash subscribe. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy videos like this, thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel, and let other people know about these little private videos by telling them to subscribe at mattreport.com slash subscribe.